Hey again guys and welcome back. I've had a rough uh, couple of weeks so I need to do something fun. So today we are investigating this little counter module that was sent to me by another maker. You guys should go subscribe to him for sure. So what is this thing? Well, I can show you the markings on it. So here we go. It is a uh, nmco.com uh, e6b627gn 12 volt dc 2.04 watts and that's about all we got aside from this i don't know if you can see the very light pen marks here for three dollars this is some sort of mechanical counter and it counts up every time you connect and disconnect so you cycle uh, voltage on these wires. Let me show you it working and then we can take it apart and see how it does it. Just going to hook this up to the excellent Redin RD6018 power supply. Uh, you might hear the high frequency switching noise that's because I don't have a load on the AC to DC power supply that's supplying this um, the RD6018. Alright, so I'm going to hold this down. Hopefully all this is in focus. I'm not sure which end it'll work from. But every time I switch this on, you should see the numbers increment here. So there we go. So you got a 1. So this is uh, 1.91 watts. And then off, the number goes all the way down. On, it's a halfway. Off, it's full. So just every on-off cycle increments this thing once. Quite interesting, huh? So, um, I think I can figure out the construction. Should I do like Big Clive and try to guess what's in here? Let's do that. Here's my best guess on how this works. So, I'm guessing since it's just a, a 12 volt, I don't think it's a motor because the motor wouldn't be able to sort of uh, do only one step like that. I'm going to guess a solenoid. So basically, uh, let's see, maybe I'll draw it like this. So like this, okay, a solenoid, which is basically, uh, it's a coil of wire around an iron core. And I think that solenoid is going to pull on a lever, so it's gonna, when you activate it, it uh, becomes an electromagnet, it's gonna pull down on a lever, and that lever will have some sort of pivot and a tooth system that every time it pulls down, it'll increment a gear. So that's why I think we're getting that half step, so we've got a gear, you know, whatever, sort of like that. What happens is this pulls down, it'll move this gear half a tooth this way, and then when it drops down, it'll move the rest of the way into some sort of detent. So that's why it's a half tooth. And then that is connected to a cylinder, like so. Okay, with the digits, one, two, all the way around uh, zero. And on one side, uh, the first digit on this side over here, there's gonna be that gear. And then this digit is going to have a little, I guess it should have a little pawl beside the 9. And basically the next one beside it uh, it'll have a pawl uh, also right beside the, or beside the 0 or beside the 1. So that what will happen is when this rotates all the way around it'll chunk this forward one and then it'll this one will continue to do a full rotation then chunk this forward one more so i think it's just basically interlocking segments and all done by a lever and a tooth on a gear and a solenoid and i'm going to guess the wires in the solenoid are going to be very very fine because uh, to only pull two watts you're going to need a very thin wire so that's my unscientific uh, design. And uh, let's take this apart and take a look. 
I'm going to try my best to keep this in focus, but no guarantees. So when I tug on this, I can see that it's kind of loose, but there's two screws here. This side is tighter than this side. So I think I'm going to have to remove this little nub in here. There she goes. Oh, there we go. That wasn't actually that hard. You just pull a little nub in, pull the cap off. So what do we have here? Um, well, if I'm right, I should be able to pull on this thing and increment the numbers. So really, let's see, there's 15. Be able to move this down. Would it be there? Yeah, I should be able to just pivot this thing downwards. So let's see, I'm going to push it in. Oh, there we go. Half step, full step. There we go. So that's how it works. This little thing here, this little arm, pivots downwards and it pulls on a little piece of gear train. But you can't really see that, so uh, let me see if I can get you a little bit closer view. I'm going to try my very best to keep this in focus. Oh boy, and here it goes. Um, so, this is the solenoid here, and up top here that's a little arm. So that arm gets attracted by the iron core that's right here. So that iron core has a bunch of windings going around it. So when it's energized, it pulls down. And you saw the, the numbers. Pay attention to the numbers on, on this side of your screen here. See, it goes half number, let go, full number. Nine, zero, one, two, et cetera, et cetera. So when that solenoid gets activated, these numbers get incremented. So one down, that's a half step, and then let go, full step, half step, full step. You actually go pretty quick. You will you will be limited by the speed of the magnetic field in the solenoid here. Um, I'm just going back and forth like this with my little prying tool here, but I mean, in practice, it depends how fast the um, magnetism dissipates through here. I wish I could give you a better view of the mechanism, but it's very difficult considering it's black. Let's see if I can zoom you a little bit. So that's a little wheel there, but we can't really see the mechanism. That's a little arm. So you see that little arm? See it pulls down there, pull. This little um, spring here actually returns it, so you can actually activate it simply by pushing on this little arm, which is held by the spring. See? Oh yeah. Actually, you might be able to see because it seems like the work is being done up here. Well, that was something I missed. But it does seem to be approximately the way I was saying. Well, let's see, if I push this little arm. Yeah, and you see the little pin going around? See that pin right, right there. That pin going around right, oh wow, right there. I'm looking in the viewfinder of the camera. If I push this. That pin will come around. Now the pin is up here, right there. So that pin will come around and actually move the next digit over. I guess I should center this on your screen a bit more. Okay, but the the gears are black, unfortunately, so I won't be able to show you really it working. But it's basically that. It's a little, it's a little arm pushing in little teeth, and the little teeth. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. 
really can't get the lighting right. It's like constantly in a shadow. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to see it. I'm going to try one more time to show you. Don't friggin' move. I got the light at just the right angle. There we go. I feel like there's there must be a spring internally. There's that little tooth gear right over on this side here. The thing that you're seeing obscuring your screen on that side, that's a that's my LED that I'm trying to light the shot with. There we go, there's the back and forth. So let me set this up to a round number. And I'll show you why I want a round number momentarily. 899, 200, perfect. This is an Arduino and this is not a PC. I knocked up a quick sketch to cycle the 12 volt rail on this thing 20 times and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try with one second delay like it's set right now so one second on one second off and it should do this 20 times and this should count up to uh, 220 then I'll take the Arduino away drop the delay and we'll keep dropping the delay until this thing misses steps so let's give this a shot it should work and um if you want to try this at home, I just got a surface mount uh, MOSFET here. I could have used any MOSFET, but I have these surface mount ones. And I have a flyback diode to prevent the uh, current spike from this thing blowing up the Arduino. Let's give this a shot. It works. Two, three, four. And there we go. It did not skip a beat. Let's drop that delay from one second to half a second and see if the trend continues. 500 milliseconds. Success. Let's try 250. 250 loaded up, so let's try it. Seems to be no problem. 125 millisecond corn tact. No issues at all. Do I half it or do I go to 100? I guess I'll half it. So what's that? 125 divided by 2? Uh, let's round it to, I guess, 50. 50 milliseconds corn tact. That was like no issues at all. Let's run another 20 just for fun. What the hell? How low can we go? Okay, 25 milliseconds. Uh, I think this one's going to skip, so this should say 360 when we're done. No way! <laughs> we're going to bring it up to 400, so we're going to do it twice more. Okay, I guess we're going 10 milliseconds. 10 milliseconds, place your bets. Oh, we missed a step. Oh, we missed a few steps. So 10 milliseconds is definitely too fast. Huh. But this is absolutely ridiculous, like the speed. Like, let's say we're at uh, 451. We missed... Uh, two, we missed one step there. That's not bad. Two steps. 501. Uh, we missed a couple steps there. So let's see. 501. We missed one step. We missed zero steps. Uh, what was it at? <laughs> I don't remember now. I think we missed... Two steps? Three steps? Yeah, three steps. 
That's not bad. We're, I mean, it works. It's just not great. I wonder if my poor MOSFET's getting hot. No. It should be capable of, um, the MOSFET should be capable of 5 amps, something like that. That's pretty cool. The noise it makes is pretty fancy too. Okay, 750. One last try. Hopefully we get them all. Nope, missed one. Nice. Well, that was all the fun I'm going to be able to have this evening with this little device. If there's any more information you want on this thing, let me know in the comments below. I might make a follow-up video, but this was me just messing around and uh, having fun. Uh, if anything's not clear, yeah, just let me know. Also, you guys should head over to another maker's uh, YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. He has sent a lot of gifts. He did two fill, two full mailbags. I think maybe, was it three? I don't know. He sent me a lot of stuff. So the least you guys could do is go to his channel and hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.